Well, here we go. We got a observation lead on this on this particular hive. So take a look in there. Get that super. I see but a freaking high beetle. We are not going to let high beetles stay in our hive. So I've never had a problem with them. Never. And I, I don't want to start now. So we're going to put a couple of beetle traps in this thing to uh, catch them and to annihilate them and that means they'll kill them these traps you put vegetable oil in them and the bees herd them into to these traps and of course they they get in that oil and they drown because they can't get out it's just that simple it's just that simple and that's our plan of attack on these high beetles. So, I got a couple of ready. I'm just gonna do one thing. I'm gonna pull one of these frames, see if they done anything whatsoever in here. Yeah, they, uh, they propolized it down to the queen excluder. That's about it. That's the extent of what they've done. Pick it up if I can, and we'll remove it if I can. Oh, got a lot of bees on this queen excluder. Yes, we do. this hive has been with this original queen has been very very calm not giving us a lot of issues at all and I tell you we got at least nine frames of, uh, of bees in here Looks pretty busy to me. Looks pretty busy. We're gonna find out how busy it is. We're gonna find out just how busy it is. Yeah, they've got a lot of, a lot of this particular frame drawn out on both sides about the, uh, 75% on each side drawn out. That's always good news. And here we go. I, am, uh, I just don't think I'm going to do a whole lot in here. disturb them. I just want to take a look at the, at the brood nest for a second or two. See what we got going. That frame is drawn out and it looks like nectar. This frame is not drawn out but they are working on it. I see a lot of white, a lot of white wax down in there. A lot of white wax. Oh, plenty of brood. Oh, plenty of brood. Plenty of brood. Look at this. It's like that on both sides.
like that on both sides. This next frame is the same way. Now you gotta understand, when I split these two hives, I did it while the, the foragers were out and I moved the queen uh, in the top box over here and they didn't have any foragers come back for a week or so, a week or two. They, uh, they didn't have hardly any activity whatsoever. And then, then it just exploded. Nope, oh, got me on the lip. Get me through my, through my veil. And they don't like this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put them right back together. Day. I've seen what I want to see, things loaded up with, with brood. That's what I want to see. And I'm gonna move this particular frame out one spot and get them to finish filling it out. When you bend over like that, and you expose that that veil to your face, you got a good chance to get a stung. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close these babies up. And trap you gotta get that beetle I saw in here I'm sorry about the uh, well, getting that trap, but I put them back, so you'll be all right now. You can go back to work, make us some honey. Hey, I appreciate you watching. It got hot out here today. Three hives, three videos. Not not long, but there's three of them. So this is Poppy B asking you again. Subscribe to my channel. Go down there and, and uh, give me a thumbs up on this video. It sure helps my uh, my rating is on YouTube, and it allows me more time. So, until then, it's Papa B saying, be careful.